Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing giant isopods. There are nearly 20 classified species of these deep-sea crustaceans, and probably more to be discovered. It's just really expensive to study them. Giant isopods are a prime example of deep-sea gigantism. Like the giant squid, giant isopods are far larger than their smaller-sized relatives. Most of the more than 10,000 isopod species only reach about an inch at maximum length. But giant isopods have been recorded at 16 inches, and possibly even longer. Not all these deep-sea giants reach this massive size, but they still top the charts compared to other isopod species. These invertebrates live along the ocean floor, though they can also swim. They can be found in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, and it's likely there are populations that haven't been discovered. Giant isopods live in water as shallow as 550 feet to depths more than over 6,500 feet. Where they live all depends on the species, and sometimes the other species around them. Some species rule the seafloor and patrol from continental shelves to the abyssal plain, but others are limited in their range. In some areas, multiple giant isopod species live in a single location. The smaller species control the shallower areas, while the larger species are restricted to the deepest depths. Giant isopods are commonly known as scavengers, but this is only part of their dietary picture. These animals opportunistically eat just about anything that falls to the seafloor. This debris is known as marine snow and can include fish heads and whale bodies. When it finds a huge meal, a giant isopod can eat so much food it loses mobility. In fact, their giant stomachs can take up up to two-thirds of their body if necessary. These invertebrates also munch on live animals like sponges, sea cucumbers, and even fish caught in deep-sea cages, much to the annoyance of those trying to catch the fish. Giant isopods have seven sets of legs, and the first pair is used to bring food to their mouth, where four sets of slicing jaws wait to tear into a meal. In fact, these crustaceans have been known to chew through wires of deep-sea camera equipment, so they can be some tricky beasts. Like the roly-polies that live on land, giant isopods can curl up into a ball to protect themselves from predators. Fortunately for them, they have few of these. This may be in part why they've been able to reach such gargantuan sizes. Of course, humans do pose a threat to these invertebrates through plastics, which have been found in giant isopod stomachs, and trawling, which can disrupt brooding females. While little is known about giant isopod reproduction, what is known is that the females develop a brood pouch in which their eggs are kept safe from harm on her body and mature into fully formed adults. When they hatch, giant isopod babies completely forego a larval stage, and emerge as tiny replicas of their parents. Passing a larval stage is likely beneficial, as it could mean fewer chances of predation. How long they live is unknown, though one unfortunate individual managed to survive five years without eating in captivity. The different giant isopod species can be told apart by the different structures and formations of their shells. All of them, however, have long antennae they use to navigate their environment and large eyes that, like a cat's eyes, reflect light that hits them, making them appear to glow. For more facts on giant isopods, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, Spike Spiegel 93 Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.